So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between adult family homes and assisted living facilities. Here's the biggest one. Assisted living facilities are temporary situation. Okay? In 9 out of 10 adult uh, assisted living facilities, you will have to move again. There is no and ifs and buts. You will. So be prepared. <laughs> Still a great setting for the right person, but you will have to move. Now, why is that? Well, because the most adult, most uh, assisted living facilities are not set up to provide long-term care. They're set up to provide assistance, usually light levels of assistance. Some of them are not licensed to provide any care at all. So if your loved one ends up needing care, you're going to have to hire your own caregivers and bring them in to your own apartment or studio apartment and receive care there, which is going to be an extra charge and you'll have to be responsible for paying and managing all of that on your own. Um, most of the times you need to move out of an assisted living because either your safety is um, endangered or you need care that the assisted living facility cannot provide for you. Um, Many times the larger facilities are very, very concerned about liability and about the image. So if you have someone who's confused and incontinent, they don't want them there. So if that's your mom, as soon as this happens, they're going to ask you to leave. Uh, safety is a big difference between an adult family home and an assisted living. In an adult family home, safety um, it's easier to keep people safe because the environment is much smaller and the caregivers are basically just in one home and you only have six residents so it's much easier to keep tabs on where people are what they're doing and if they need help when you're in an assisted living facility you have to be independent enough to be able to call for help or to go ask for help or to take care of yourself Part of the big problem in the assisted living is that when people retreat themselves behind closed door in the evening, they become sort of isolated and there is no one that goes inside the apartment to keep tabs on them. So the isolation is an issue and they are behind closed doors. So I cannot tell you how many calls I have gotten over the years. I mean, I get these calls all the time where basically someone fell. Um, you know, right after dinner, and when they didn't show up for breakfast the next morning, somebody went to look, and sure enough, grandma was on the floor, you know, with a broken hip, and nobody had found it. Nobody had found her. So that's a big issue. In adult family homes, we are always real close to people so we can see and monitor what goes on right away all the time. Um, depending on the license type, that's a big difference. Uh, assisted livings have several different kinds of licenses, all of which allow them to provide more or less care to the occupants of the assisted living facility, depending on the type of license they have. I hope that made sense. Um, extra cost is another one. Assisted living really provide a la carte services. So if you need help with, uh, say, bathing, that's one package where you'll pay a certain amount of dollars every month to get that service. Medication administration, another package. Um, bathing and showering, another package. Dressing, another package. So whatever it is you need, you pay for these different packages. In an adult family home, typically all the care is included and rolled into one daily or monthly care fee. So when you pay that, you receive all the services that go with it. Privacy versus isolation is another big difference. When you are in an assisted living, you have a lot of opportunities for socialization. But interestingly, a lot of people end up feeling quite isolated because it's almost too many people. It's kind of like going to the mall when you need company. Well, you're going to have a lot of people around, but you don't necessarily feel closer or more connected to anyone else. You may be just as lonely in a mall with 10 million people than you may be in your home alone. So that's a big difference. The smaller setup in the adult family home allows a little bit more companionship. And it's easier to form closer relationships so there is, there is less isolation uh, and, and a little bit more companionship. 
If you enjoyed this information and you would like to receive 20 more free videos on the most frequently asked questions that people ask about adult family homes and a copy of my ebook called Everything You Should Know About Adult Family Homes, please visit adultfamilyhomescentral.com forward slash free.